Hello and welcome back everybody. It's time for our long-term sim to finish off this series, not including the movie that will follow, that will summarize the entire series, including this long-term sim. The goal of the sim is to pretty much uh, finish the careers of Strong and Carson Evans, my two favorite players on the team. We'll see the end of the, of the career of Cage and a couple of other older players. And uh, we will jump in pretty much only if we're in the finals and like in the most small moment or in the, the biggest moments in the finals. So like the, the last few minutes of a game or something like that. But um, only if that's like a game winning or if it's like a series winning uh, game or moment or something or uh, some shit like that. But um, our last year did not end how we wanted it to end. We lost for the second straight year in the first round as the one seed, the third time in our team history. We've lost more times in the first round as the one seed than our wins as uh, champions of the NBA. We lost in the first one against the Rockets, won twice in a row after that, and then have lost in the first round the last two years since then. I realized that, you know, I did kind of rush things these last couple of years, but I had to because I'm going to make a new series with a new team uh, right when 2K22 comes out for uh, for next gen on, on uh, Xbox, which is like like September 10th, I think. So in about two weeks from the day that I'm recording, this is when that comes out. So I have plenty of time to finish the movie and all that stuff. But um, so because of this, here's what's going to happen. First, a look at our current uh, salary cap table. Cage and Main. Well, Cage, Cage Cage chose to leave. So Cage will test the free the free agent market this year. Strong and Evans are on the team for at least the next five seasons. They're both pretty loyal players, so they might be here for the rest of their careers. Maine is here for next year, confirmed only. Beasley wants to leave and test his value. Kent will be on the team for three more or for two more seasons. Jones will not return. Neither will Hawkins. Culver has one more uh, year left. Martin Bell and Floyd both in the uh, G League are about to enter the team. So we, we, we really won't see them, but they were pretty much picks be, to, to be made for the future. They're both apparently playing really well. They both apparently have made some good progress down there in the G League. And the reserves players obviously won't return. Uh, JC Lewis is going to hit the open market. But that is your update on that. So pretty much now, here's what's going to happen. I got to go over here. I think in my league settings, I have to go to feature, not features. Well, somewhere I can change what I have control over. And pretty much what I have control over is going to be this right here. I'm going to take off game participation. Well, actually, I will, um, I will control the that but I will not control prospect scouting or staff management um, I won't uh, control um, before games I won't control the injury status or anything like that I won't change any, any roster changes or trades or anything except for game participation that's the only thing that I really have control over now The draft is going to be fully automized. Team options, qualifying offers, free agents, fill roster, player waivers, target list, trade block. All of that on auto. I have no control except for advancing us now. So here we go. Let's see what happens. Retirement for this year. Thompson, Gobert, Gordon, Terry Rozier, former player of the Venom, Chris Dunn, and many others. I'll just scroll down for a little bit so you can see. Nobody really of like extreme note down here, of course. Servetus retires. He played for us. Alright, we keep going. 
league meetings, I will decline all the all the approvals for this because none, none of these in my eyes are good um, are good ideas. All right, here was the draft. Dante Casal in first overall, 78 overall center, followed by Flores, Tucker, Mason, Chandler. We picked 31. We put, we took Alvin Richards, small forward, 74 overall, 21 years old. Comparison is George Lynch or PJ Tucker. He's not that good. In the second round, we took Brandon Whitehead, 72 overall, power forward, B plus potential. We had no options for this year, so don't worry about pinning options for that. Qualifying offers, they went to extend qualifying offers for JC Lewis and Jay Jones. Not going to change that for them. Obi Toppin apparently has been offered a contract by us. He will take the place of Brent Cage apparently. Toppin will probably come off the bench though, you would have to assume, but I, again I have no control of this. So Toppin comes to Las Vegas. Jay Jones agrees to a new deal with us to return. Signed players from Moratorium. Aiden returns to the Claws. Chavez returns to Washington. Cage goes to Los Angeles. Darren Fox goes to Denver. RJ Barrett leaves to go to the Heat. Fuck that guy. Jay Jones returns here, obviously. Thomas Justice goes to the Pacers. I think he was already there. Uh, so Mori goes to Memphis. Elena Chev to the Hornets. Uh, Nikila Alexander Walker to uh, Philadelphia. And that's pretty much it. We're going to sign Clifton Sanders, a center, to a one year deal. We're also going to sign Whitehead, who we did not pick up the rookie contract for. So he was a free agent, and now he's going to get a new offer from us two years, 11 mil. We also signed Trey Lyles and another power forward. We signed another one. O'Shea Brissett, how many power forwards do we need? We're going to sign Leroy Kerr and Donnie Gardner to a one-year deal. And we're going to sign two two-way contract players, Lynn Murray and Dave Hayes. All right, other big signings. Cat goes to San Antonio after winning finals MVP with, uh, with the Pelicans. Little Atkins goes to Washington. Norm Hines returns to the Cavs. Paul Hawkins leaves to go to the Clippers. Patrick Williams goes to the Knicks. Pope returns to Orlando. Uboya goes to the Trailblazers. Here are the rest. Bobo left to go to the Hawks. Why did the Spurs get worse after they beat us? So Toppin actually signed with the Nets. We did not actually sign him. We probably cannot afford him, honestly. Player progression strong. Goes down by one apparently, but I mean, he's still at a 94. Martin Bell goes up to an 85. Are you shitting me? Up 13 overall points. Start this man right fucking now. What the hell? He was just, I guess, really good at, in, in the G League. Evans stays where he's at. Jay Jones goes up to an 84 overall. Aaron Floyd also really good. We didn't bring him back Kirk Beasley, so he might be starting now. Curry Maine. Pretty much stays where he was. Kent down by one, Culver down by two. The rest don't really have any effect. All right, here's the next season. Time to sim the entire season. Before we do so, let's go look at the lineup real quick for this year. Jay Jones is your starting point guard. Carson Evans returns to shooting guard. Max Strong at small forward, of course. Martin Bell, 86 overall power forward. And Aaron Floyd, 82 overall center. I really, I really want to watch, but I can't. I can't. I can't. May comes off the bench this year with Kent. Michael Kidd Gilchrist. Where did he come from? Jared Culver and Trey Lyles with Richards Brissett, JC Lewis, and Sanders in those reserves. 
Here's your 10 points of emesis. They are the same that we had. No changes there. And now, here we go. Time to sim the entire regular season. Well, 2031 is over just now, but Max Strong wins his second straight MVP, his third MVP overall, averaging a lot less points per game than I would thought or, or, or think, I guess, but 27 points per game, eight rebounds, four assists, one steal, shot above 50% from the field, 95% from the free throw line, and 44% from behind the arc. Rookie of the year is Martin Bell. Let's go. 14 points per game, almost 10 rebounds, five assists. He shot pretty well, except from three, but still not bad at all. JP Posey wins sixth man of the year. Robin wins D D defensive player of the year again. D Mason wins most improved player. We went 58 and 24, just like last year. Here's your all NBA first team John Morant, Luka Doncic, Max Strong, Vianic, and Jokic. Second team, Derek O'Neill, Killian, Killian Hayes, Zion, Martin Bell, and Alex Bush. Uh, third team, Soto, Trey Young, Tatum, Jaron Jackson, and Aline Sonnet. All defensive first team, Alexander Quinn, Ronald Soto, Paul Hawkins of the Clippers, Carson Watson, and Greg Rodman. All defensive second team, Lonzo Ball, Barry Tavares, Vujanic, Jaron Jackson, and Kobe Swift. All rookie first team, Martin Bell, Radu Buska, Tomasevic, Issy Baja, and Aaron Floyd. So two of our players are two, two young guys. Our rookie second team, Peter Ranchich, Dante Cassell, Jonathan Flores, Wilson Shaw, and Dean Simpson. And those are your teams. We were the one seed in the West again by six games. The Jazz were six games behind us at 52 and 30. Um, why are Martin Bell and Aaron Florida on our target list? What does that even mean? Max Strong is still untouchable. I guess because we, we like want to re-sign them to deals. But uh, we're, we're the one seed again. This time we face OKC. The Spurs are the seventh seed. Uh, here's the rest of your playoff bracket. The Cavs are the are, are the one seed in the East. You got Radu Busca, Leones, who's down to 89. He is 30 years old after all. Alan Booker, Todd Harrison, Ben Sloan. Okay, they got Norm Hines as well. Yeah, they got a squad. Oh, but yeah, the, the, this is your playoff bracket. The Claws are the two seed over. Over there, before we check this, let's go look at um, first the all-star team, or the all-star teams. Um, Strong was not a captain this year, but he did make it again. Uh, it was Doncic, Jerry Mitch, Strong, Tatum, and Zion for Team Zion. With Alex Bush, Derek O'Neal, Kat, B.I., James Wiseman, Wang, and Soto. Then for Team uh, Nikola. John Morant, Mannion, Vujanic, Aiden, and Jokic. Then on the bench, Booker, Shea, Barry Frazier, Killian Hayes, Achua, Pat Geiger, and Aline Sonnet. Points per game leader, Strong was third with 27. The highest was John Morant with 29.8. All right, player stats. Strong, 27 points per game, as we saw. Evans, 21 points per game. Bell, 14 points per game, as we saw. Jay Jones, just below 14 points per game. Aaron Floyd, 12 points per game, over seven rebounds per game. Main, 10 points per game off the bench. Um, how many games did Strong play? Strong played in all 82, Evans played 80 games, Bell played all 82, Jones played 74 games. Okay. Team sets real quickly, the fourth best record, the Cavs, Claws, and Knicks all were ranked higher than us. We did not have the best offense this year. We were ninth on offense. Our defense was the second best in, in the league. All right, time to sim the playoffs. Here we go. Actually, first, did we make any transactions? I forgot about this. Um, so we pretty much sent down and called up Dave Hayes twice. Um, otherwise, we uh, we called up Lynn Murray from the from the G League, 
and also sign Kid Gilchrist when the year started. But that's it, no trades for us. Did we extend anybody? I guess we didn't re-sign anybody to any deals. Um, Maine will probably leave, Culver might leave. All right, let's keep going. Here goes the playoffs. We're gonna sim the first round, see what happens. We lost in the first round again, are you serious? Why are we so cursed? We lost in six games this time to the fucking Thunder. How did Strong do? He played well, but come on, man. We're just cursed. All right, rest of the playoffs. The finals will be the Claws against the Lakers. The Claws. When in five games, they get their second ring. They have now tied us for rings, and Nico Mannion wins. Finals MVP. All right, to the off season we go. Here we go. From here on out, I'm only going to pretty much cover our team. Not going to cover any of the other big signings. Kawhi, Le Kawhi retires. Bradley Beal retires. Tobias Harris retired. Wiggins, Oladipo, Randall, Bobby Portis, former player for us. Here are the rest. OJ Williams has retired. At age 31, our very first draft pick. He played for seven full seasons. Did he play this past year? He did not play in 2031. So, but he was he was a journeyman going from Las Vegas to the Spurs, to Orlando, to Detroit for two years, then to Golden State, all in seven seasons. But he's done, he's gone. Hall of Fame is Kawhi. We bring back Silas as the head coach. We, we uh, extend him despite losing four times down the first round. No other moves are made by us for staff. All right, in the draft, Miles Tavkar goes first overall, 83 overall, 19 years old, one Euro stash year. Okay. We had picked like 28, I think, 29. We took Bradley Goodrich, 75 overall, 21 years old. Decent shooter all around and decent potential. In the second round, we uh, did not have a pick here. We signed Goodrich. Team player options, we're going to accept the Bell and Floyd, of course. We extend offers to Sanders, JC Lewis, and Lynn Murray. All right, all our moves during uh, free agency. We signed Joey Baxter, Gary Levingston, Moses Brown, Nesmith, Sims, Fleming, Javon Christie, and obviously Steven Silas. Player progression, Strong stays where he's at. He gets two more badges. Martin Bell goes up to 88. Evans still 85. Floyd up by 3 to 85. Jay Jones stays where he's at. Christie down by 2, who we just signed. Kent down by 1. Fleming down by 2. Brown down by 1. Richards up by 1. And there you go. Alright, the lineup for this season, 2032. Jay Jones, Evans, Strong, Bell, and Floyd, same as last season. Off the bench, Javon Christie, Mitchell Kent, Moses Brown, Alan Fleming. And Bradley Goodrich in the reserves, Oscar Sims, Alvin Richards, Aaron Nesmith, and D. Walton. So this year's over, and Martin Bell is your MVP for 2032. 17 points per game, 10 rebounds, about six assists. He won MVP? These are Brent Cage numbers. Wow, over strong, really. Here's your first team: Doncic, John Morant, Martin Bell. Dustin Cox and Alex Bush. Second team, LaMelo Ball, Ronald Soto, Zion, and Max Strong. Second team, really? No way. Jokic. Third team, Wang, Posey, Tatum, Vujanic, and Wiseman. All defensive first team, Ben Simmons, Quinn, Paul Hawkins again, Giannis, Clifton Clayton. Where, where was this Paul Hawkins? Anywhere be, before this. I don't know. 
The all-defensive second team, Ronald Soto, Lonzo Ball, Carson Watson, Max Strong this time, and Damian West. All rookie first team, Jacques Purbin, Michael Fitzgerald, Martin Montgomery, Donovan Cunningham, Wilson Jeffries, all rookie second team, Dwight Bailey, Darrell Falls, Kirk Frazier, Clarence Joseph, Brad Humphreys. Those are your teams. Uh, we are again the ones in the West for like the seventh year in a row or something. Um, we were ahead by four games above, above the Kings. Um, okay. We have to face the Lakers in the first and this time. Will we lose first round for the fourth year in a row for the fifth time as the one C? Before we do that, um, let's go look at the all-star teams. For Team Zion, it was Doncic, Posey, Jaron Jackson, Zion, and DeAndre Aiden. Then off the bench, Killian Hayes, Jeremy, Jason Tatum, Kira Lewis, Chavez, Norm Hines, Dustin Cox. For Team Nikola Jokic, it's John Morant, Lamelo Ball, Max Strong, seventh time, Alex Bush and Jokic. Then in the reserves, Shigalis, Alexander, Wang, Martin Bell, his first All-Star. He won, it. so he won MVP and was not even a starter in the All-Star game. Trey Young, Wiseman, Achua, and Elian Sonnen will all also there. Front office, any, or no, do we make any transactions this year? Oh, we made a trade. Uh, we traded Javon Christie and a 2034 first rounder to get Trey Jones and O'Shea Brissett. We had Brissett last year. Oh, we just signed Christie. I don't understand. Max Strong, 25.7 points per game, nine rebounds per game, just below four assists, one steal. He shot really well again. He played. He played in 73 games. Maybe, maybe that's why he didn't win uh, MVP. But Evans, Bell, and Jones all played in all all 82 games. Evans went down to 19 points per game. Uh, Martin Bell, obviously 17 uh, and 10, really good year for him. I mean, MVP. Uh, Jay Jones, 15 points per game. Trey Jones, 11. Fleming, 9. Uh, Aaron Floyd tore his left Achilles. So, he only played in two games before he tore his Achilles. That fucking sucks. That definitely led to our year not being as good as it could have been. Team stats, we the second best record in the entire NBA. Points per game, we were... Number seven, points allowed per game. We were number two on the Thunder. And, yep. Okay, time to sim uh, at least the first round. See what happens here. First round against the Lakers and Derek O'Neal. Okay, we did it. It took, it took seven games, but we won. Finally, out of the first round for the first time in like three or four years. We have a rematch against the Thunder, who took us out... Last year in the first round. And we win in seven games again. We face the Sacramento Kings in the Western Conference Finals. A rematch of old times. Insane. Can we, can we force our way into the NBA Finals? Let's find out. We win game one and game two and game three. We win in five games. We So now, now we get to face the Cavs and Darius Leones. Are you serious? Okay, well, Sim game one, if we are in the driver's seat and we're about to win, I'm going to jump in and watch the end of that game, okay? So we're going to Sim. I got a Sim game with Simcast. We win game one by 10 points. We lose by 16 points. And Carson Evans is done for the year. A pulled lower back muscle. So he's out for the rest of the finals, of course. How else would this happen? Game three. We're in front. The Cavs come back and win by 10. All right, game four. The Cavs again come back and win this time by 11 points. We led for most of the game. All right, we have to put together a comeback like LeBron and Kyrie did in 2016 or else our year is over. Cavs take control. It's not looking good here. We lose by 13 points. The Cavs are your champions. And Radu Busca is your finals MVP. Not even Darius Leones. It's Busca. 
real quick. Martin Bell at 34 points in game five. Where's Strong? What the fuck? Did we get here without Strong? I'm so... Did Strong play in the... Okay, hold on. Gotta investigate something here. Strong. What happened? He broke his right leg! Are you serious? July 11th. What game was that? Where did he break his leg? Did he play in the... He played here. I can't see the date on this game. Okay, did he play in game one of the finals? The answer is... Oh, he... He broke his... He broke his right leg in the middle of game one. We're so fucking cursed, man. And Martin Bell had to take over. He did all he could for most of these games, but it just wasn't enough. The Cavs win. All right, so we move on. What a tumultuous season. Retirements, Kyrie, AD, Marcus Smart, Dame, Pascal Siakam, Saric, McCall Bridges, Jamal Murray, and a bunch of other guys that have been in the league for a long time. Deion Peterson is done. Eight seasons, 30 years old. Taco Fall is done. Tony Bagarge and Tim Oakley both done. So is Evan Benjamin, former second round pick that played for us for two seasons. AD, Dame, and Kyrie all make the Hall of Fame. AD gets his jersey for the Pelicans and, and Lakers retired. Kyrie has his retired with the Nets. But now with the Cavs, we bring back Gutting as our scout. That's it for staff changes this season. In the draft, Owen Wheeler goes first overall, 85 overall, 17 years old. Are you serious? 12 badges? Holy shit. The Bulls got their next MJ. He's just, just a point guard this time. Holy fuck. Um, this is a stacked draft class. Especially at the top. We had the, the 30th overall pick. We took DJ Gooden. 71 overall, 19-year-old. Good shooter. Pretty good potential as well. In the second round, we took CJ Gilbert. 67 overall, 19-year-old. He's probably not going to get signed. We signed Gooden, but not Gilbert. We take all, all, all options for Bell, Floyd, and Alvin Richards. Give a qualifying offer to Joey Baxter. Alright, here are all the moves we made after we... Brought our scout back. We signed Tommy Sullivan to a three-year deal. We signed Daryl Dixon, Lynn Murray, DeAndre Hunter, Clark Thorpe, Mitchell Kent, and Mac Marks. Player progression. Strong goes down by two. He's down to a 91 overall. His regression has really begun right now. Um, but he didn't really lose anything besides his inside defense. Uh, Martin Bell goes up by one. Jay Jones goes up by one. Evans down by one. Aaron Floyd already down by one, probably because of, of the injury for sure. Tommy Sullivan, Goodrich up by one, Fleming down by two, Hunter down by one. Here are the rest. We're an aging team. All right, your 20-33 lineup here. Jay Jones, Evan Strong, Bell, and Floyd again. The same one as last year. Hopefully we can stay healthy this year. Off the bench, Tommy Sullivan, Bradley Goodrich, Mitchell Kent, Alan Fleming, and DeAndre Hunter. On the reserves, Daryl Dixon, Alvin Richards, Lynn Murray, and DJ Gooden. Scoring options, I'm putting Strong as number one. Just to be safe, then I'll put Evans, and then I'll put Martin Bell. There you go. Okay. Steven Salas, our coach, wins his, I think, second or third coach of the year. All-NBA first team, Derek O'Neill, Ja Morant, Dustin Cox, Max Strong, and Alex Bush. Second team, Wang, Justice, Martin Bell, Earl Arnold, and Milos Tavkar. Third team, Marshall, Clint Christie, Kramer, Zion, and James Wiseman. Defensive first team, Soto, O'Neal, Hawkins again. Hawkins, where was this? I need to know where this was. Giannis and Clayton. 
Second team, Jamison, Ball, Arnold, Jeffries, and West. All rookie first team, Tavkar, Owen Wheeler. How did he not win rookie of the year? He feels snubbed, not getting rookie of the year. He had no injuries, uh, but there was uh, a Monotitis, Johan Johansson, Esteban Gonzalez, all rookie second team, Gordon Hunter, Matthew Neal, Erickson, Deion Spencer, and Gary McNeil. And here's your playoff picture. We're the one seed yet again. Strong continues to just lead us to glory, or at least the glory of making the playoffs. Not really much beyond that uh, since, since a couple years ago. Um, we have to face the eight seed Denver Nuggets this year. Uh, here are the, West, the rest of your standings. The Cavs are, all the, are, are the fourth seed now. The first round, actually before we sim the playoffs, Real quick, I forgot all-star teams. Team Derek and Team Noonwan. Uh, for Team Derek Benilo is Jerry Mitch, Derek Benilo, Team Max, or not Team Max Strong, just Max Strong is eighth all-star. Zion, Chavez off the bench, Trey Young, Martin Bell, Tavkar, Tatum, Sutton, Busca, and Thomas Justice. For Wang's team is Marshall, Wang, Aiden, Norm Hines, and Alex Bush. Then off the bench, there's Shea, Cox, Morant, Pokusevsky, Kramer, Ball, and Charles Mason. Um, did we make any transactions during the season? Um, how do I check that? Here we go. Um, we made two trades. We traded Fleming and Lynn Murray for Nathan Knight and Eric Paschal. We also traded Gooden and Alvin Richards for John Byrne and Trey Lyles. But we had, wait, I thought we had Trey Lyles last year. We also signed center Kobe Swift. And we called up Clark Thorpe. Team stats. Max Strong, 25 points per game. Nine rebounds, less than four assists. Shot well again. He played in how many games? All 82. Injury-free season for him so far. Martin Bell, 17. And pretty much 10. Just like last year, he played in all 82 games. Evans, though, torn right, tries it out for two to four weeks. He could come back if we get to the finals. Uh, he's been out since April 22nd. He, he's been out for a while. Uh, he, he was averaging 17 points per game, though. Tommy Sullivan, 14 points per game. Jay Jones, 14 points per game. Aaron Floyd, 13 and seven. Kobe Swift broke his right leg after he traded for him. Team stats, we had the best record in the entire league. Points per game, we were third. Points allowed, we were number two, just barely. All right, first round of the playoffs against the Nuggets. Can we escape the first round this time as well? We win in five games. We're going to face the Utah Jazz. Here we go. We win in six games to advance to our second straight Western Conference Finals. We're going to face the Houston Rockets, a storied rival of our team. Here we go. We win the first three games. We sweep them to make our second straight finals. Last year, of course, we lost 4-1 to one to the Cavaliers. Um, is anybody hurt, though? Injury reports. John Byrne is out. He's dead today, but Evans must have returned. So we have to face the Wizards here in the finals. Um, this is their first time ever making it here this entire series long. Okay. We got a sim cast like last time. Then if it's a game where we are about to win the entire series, I will jump in. We win game one by 12. Game two. We hold on for a four-point win. Strong drops 42. We will obviously check the box scores after it's over. The Wizards come back and win in overtime by three. Wow. All right, game four. We lead by we lead two games to one here in the finals, and we crush them in game four. Three to one. Here we go. Fourth quarter, 
leading by a good chunk. It looks like we're gonna get it done here. We are gonna jump in here with like a minute left. I'm gonna slow it down a little bit. Welcome everyone to game five of the finals. We're going to win our third ever NBA championship here against the Wizards. And we're finally gonna see a celebration at home. Let's go. We've done it again for Strong. A gentleman's sweep here in the 2033 finals. And Max Strong is your finals MVP for the third time in team history. The Venom have won the championship once again, everybody. Let's go. Max Strong, finals MVP, 27 points per game in 33 minutes, 10 rebounds per game, below four assists, one steal per game. He shot very well, 48% from three. Just insane. Real quick, the box scores with game one. He won by 12. Sullivan less in scoring, 17 for Strong in that first game. Game two, he had 42 points. Game three, he had... Uh, uh, 21 Evans had 35 in game four he had 27 Evans had 22 and in game five he had 29 of 14 and five and there you have it it's time to go to another offseason everybody after our third championship win Capella has retired he played for us for a couple of years was key in establishing our team Noel, Isaac, Malik Beasley, Embiid, Jordan Bell also played for us. Donovan Mitchell retires. Trey Lyles is done. Who we traded for. Carter, Gaffer, Jared Culver played for us for a while. He played for us for like seven or eight seasons. Kuzma, Michael Porter Jr. O'Shea Brissett, Oscar Sims, D. Walton, Rudolph Cunningham retires at age 32. Matthew Rivers, former first overall pick. And B is going to be in the Hall of Fame. Capella will not. And B and Mitchell get their jerseys retired. Going to bring back Wilson Tate as our assistant GM here. We're going to sign Henry Miller as our assistant coach. That's a new signing for us. No more other changes for us. We drafted Rick Peterson, 74 overall, 20 years old. He's got B plus potential. In round two, we took Lewis Cartwright, or uh, Luis Cartwright, 72 overall, 21 year old. Also decent potential. We're gonna sign Peterson. Jay Jones took his player option, and Goodrich, we accept his two-year team option. We give qualifying offers to Aaron Floyd, Martin Bell, and Mac Marks. Hopefully, Bell and Floyd return. Bell is up to a 90 overall now at age 25. All right, here are all the, all the moves we made. We made a lot of moves. So after we, we re-signed a couple of people, we... Uh, we brought back Martin Bell to a massive deal, as well as Aaron Floyd, both of them getting massive contracts. We brought in uh, Lionel Cooper, Alec Verney, Miles Turner, Tracy Ward, Morris Strake, and Lewis Dennis. So there we go. Player progression strong, goes back up. He lost a couple of badges though. Uh, Bell at, at 90, Floyd 85. Trey Jones down by one. Evans down by two. 
Strong is now 28. Evans is 30 years old. So he is probably on the decline. Well, he definitely is, but he might be uh, retiring soon. All right, before we sim uh, 2034, here's your cap table. Strong, Jay Jones, and Carson Evans all are on their last year of their deal, but they all want to re-sign. I checked. So I'm going to keep tabs on this. Um, during the simming of the season, so you guys won't see this, but because they're gonna resign, if the CPU does not do it, they should, but if they don't, I will do it for them. So, um, but Martin Bell has a massive contract about uh, between 35 and 40 million dollars for the next four years with a player option. Floyd, same deal, but he goes up to 46 million dollars. We're gonna have a hell of big contracts. Um, the rest of the guys don't really matter that much, but I mean, goddamn, Floyd and Bell are the future of the team behind uh, Evans and Strong. Heat Resort lineup, same starters as the past two or three seasons with Jones, Evans, Strong, Bell, and Floyd. Off the bench, Tommy Sullivan returns. Uh, Sagan Lawal, who we signed at the start of the year. Uh, Bradley Goodrich, Miles Turner, and Alec Verney. Then uh, reserves, Lionel Cooper, Rick Peterson, Mitchell Kent, and Tracy Ward. For third scoring option, I'm going to put Bell back in here as the third scoring option. And we should be good to go. Okay, here we go. We did re-sign all three players. Evans returns on a three-year, $63 million deal. Max Strunk, four years, $210 million. Jay Jones, four years, $102 million. We are going to be so below the cap. It's actually, or, or so above the cap. It's actually insane. So thank God they return. No other offers to make. Here's your salary cap table. Uh, we are, we are so, we have locked up like our entire starting lineup for the next like four seasons. Max Strong, massive country. We'll be making $60 million just about in five years when he's like 34 years old or something like that or like 32 or 33 or whatever jay jones big contract martin bell of course as you saw carson evans a big front load a big front loaded car contract i guess that's just off the back of the other contract that we signed him to a couple years back uh aaron floyd obviously but yeah big moves there our entire lineup uh of starters has been brought back for the foreseeable future 2034 is over guys and Max Strong is again your MVP for the fourth time in his career 24 points per game 11 rebounds per game four assists one steal and again really good shooting and Steven Salas your coach of the year we went 68 and 14 our best ever record in team history uh, an incredible season uh, we had a 16 game winning streak uh, post all-star break um, and uh, we have two guys on the All-NBA first team. We got, first of all, not us, uh, Rolando Russell, John Moran, and then we have Max Strong and Martin Bell. Alex Bush as well. We are again the one seed, of course, with this record. How could you not be? Um, here are the All-Star teams. It was Team Derek and Team Owen. Uh, for Team Derek, it was Luka Doncic, Derek O'Neal, Andrew Stanley, Norm Hines, Alex Bush. In the reserves, Martin Bell. His third All-Star, Russell, Geiger, Dustin Cox, Aiden, Killian Hayes, Lloyd Morrison for Team Owen, Floyd Cook, Owen Wheeler, his first All-Star appearance, Max Strong, his ninth All-Star appearance, UA Kramer, Zion in the reserves, Jeremy Tafkar, Arnold, John Morant, Trey Young, Al Roberts, and Pokusevsky. So after we re-signed Jay Jones, Strong, and Evans, we traded Rick Peterson and Mitchell Kent for Hashimura and Paolo Viana and then sent down and called up a couple of players from the G League. Season stats, as we saw for Strong, 24 and 11 for him. He's become a really good rebounder. Still the great shooter that he always has been. He only played 30 minutes per game this season. So that's why his numbers are down a bit. Um, he played in all 82 games, as did Evans and Bell. Um, Jay Jones played in most of them. Floyd played in most of them as well. Um, Martin Bell, or Carson Evans, I should say, 17 points per game. Uh, less than four assists. He shot well. 
not as good as years previously, but still very well. Martin Bell, 17 and 11, another big year from him. Jay Jones, 16 points per game. Tommy Sullivan, 14 or 15 and a half points per game. Aaron Floyd, while well, we had a lot of scoring here, 13 points per game, eight, re eight rebounds, seven for Hachimura, and so on and so forth. Team stats, we had the best record, obviously. The Rockets had a really good year as well, though. Just four games behind us. Points per game, we were second behind the Rockets. Points allowed per game, we were uh, not the best team, but we were second, and there's a big gap between second and third. The Claws were the best on defense this year. Okay, so now we will sim the first round of the playoffs. Please don't lose in the first round. We'll love to win another finals or at least get out of the first round. I think it's finals or bust this year. I mean, we were 68 and 14. We swept the Clippers in the first round. We will face the Nuggets who swept their opponent, which was, which was the Lakers. Um, here we go. We sweep the Nuggets, so two sweeps so far. In these playoffs, we have to face the Rockets again. Of course, they were the two seed. What happens here? We sweep them as well. Now we have to face the Miami Heat, who are the five seed from the East. They won their first series in five games. They beat the Magic in five games, then they won against the Knicks in six games. So they had a pretty good run as well. But we are on the road to a perfect run right here in the playoffs. So, Simcast, game one, here we go. Back and forth, first half. They take control, and they win game one by 18 points. JP Posey apparently led the way. Game two. Of course, we had a home team for the first two games. Jay Jones got hurt. But we win game two anyways. By a lot. Okay, tied at one. Game three. They win by four points. They have no match for the Heat losing 105 to 101. Dude, it was a four point game. Chill. It was a good second half by them though. So they are up two games to one. A big second and third quarter by us and we are on our way to a 20 point win. Series tied at two. A really good finals matchup right here against the Heat. Big first quarter. Better second quarter by the man. Third quarter. Fourth quarter comeback. Just shy. And they win by eight points. So they are one game away from winning the series. We can tie it up and force a game seven here in the finals. We win the first half. They're trying to come back. But we're going to win and force Game 7. Okay. Any injuries for us that we got to report? Miles Turner, but that doesn't really matter. It's not like he was going to play anyway. So nobody else is hurt. All right, Game 7. Here we go against the Heat. It's at home. Can we win our second straight NBA Finals? They win the first quarter. We battle back in the second a little bit. Third quarter goes their way. Fourth quarter going our way so far. It's back and forth here. We take the lead. Let's jump in here. This will be fun. Tied at 104. 437 to go here in Game 7. The two best words in sports. We have swept every opponent up until this point. But the Heat have won three games out of six as that block is made. Nice defensive play. Hashimura fast break. We're back in front by two. Woods pulls up. That shot no good. The has got the board. He pulls up. That shot is well short. Woods down low again. No good this time. Adrian gets it back and puts it in to tie the game at 106. Hashimura goes to strong time. Cutting down for Vegas. Got to get a shot off. Strong pulls up at the elbow. That shot no good. Woods feeds Geiger down low. He goes to Williams now for three. Top of the key. That shot falls. Miami leads by three. We call timeout. Under three minutes left here in the NBA Finals Game 7. 
Strong off a couple screens. He drives and draws the foul on Adrian. Strong's got 22 points in this game seven right here. He knocks down both. 23 points now for him. That shot blocked by Strong. He goes to Carson Evans who fires. Evans knocks it down. The new number four. He switched his jersey number for some reason. Williams down low. That shot drops. It's tied again. Who the hell took number seven from Carson Evans? The third. Who took number seven, man? They've gone too far. Evans drives. That shot no good. Grant drives. Jay Jones is there to force the miss. Aaron Floyd gets the board. Evans goes to Watson. Carson Watson knocks that shot in. We lead by two. Ozzy with it. That shot no good. Floyd gets the board again. Jay Jones pulls up. That shot no good. Evans got it back and put it in. We, we lead by four. What a big play. What a take by Grant. Two-point game again. He's got 21. Evans has 25. Under one minute left. Can we hold on to our slim lead? Strong gets the ball. He's double teamed. Goes back to Jones. Open three. Top of the key. Jones, no good. You're going to hit that shot. Grant gets inside and scores again. Two clutch buckets by him. It's tied again at 115. No bad shots. Jones goes to Strong. Screen from Floyd. Strong pulls up. That mid-range shot falls. A huge cut shot. Two-point lead, 18 seconds left. Max Strong does it again. Posey with it. Time counting down. Seven seconds left. Posey guarded by Evans. He drives, steps back, fires. That shot, no good. The Venom are your champions again. Two in a row. Max Strong with the shot of the game to clinch the victory here in Game 7. Our second straight NBA Finals and our fourth overall. Again. The game winning shot by Max Strong gives us our second straight finals win and our fourth win overall. He averaged 21 points per game in these finals and 30 minutes played. Nine rebounds per game and he shot uh, less than he usually does, but still very well. And he won finals MVP again. Here are the box scores real quick. Game one, Selvin led our team with 26 points. Strong had 24. Evans, 19. In game two, Bell had 25. Strong had 21. Evans had 14. Floyd had 14. Game three, Bell had 21. Evans had 19. Strong had 18 and 12. Game 4, Jones had 23, Evans had 22, Bell had 22, Strong had 18 and 11 and 6. Game 5, Jones had 22, Strong had 21, Evans had 16. Game 6, Strong had 29, 11 and 4, Bell had 20. And in Game 7, Evans had 25, Strong had 25. And of course, the game, the finals winning shot, the series winning shot. And it was a beautiful one, I gotta say. Eight for 12 on the field. What a great, what a fucking great player, dude. I have no words. Player retirements, Giannis retires. He finished as a Cavalier. 
Jokic retires finally, Cat retires, Murray retires, Chris stops, D'Angelo Russell, Lonnie Walker, Eric Paschal, Keldon Johnson, DeAndre Hunter, John Collins, and a lot more players that we know and have played against several times. Including Kirk Beasley. He did not play after he left our team a couple of years ago. So the last year that we watched him was his last year playing in the NBA. Wow. Giannis, Jokic, and Kat all make it to the Hall of Fame. No surprises there. And they each get their own jerseys retired. We pick up the option for Bradley Goodrich. We give qualifying offers to Luis Dennis and Morris Drake, but not to Ward or Viana. All right, here are all the moves we made. We signed Sean McDaniels. We uh, re-signed Miles Turner. We brought back Philip Hunt after several years. And Jesse Tate. So no big moves here for us, which I kind of like. Player progression strong stays at a 92. Uh, goes down in defense and IQ. Lost a couple of badges. Bell goes up to a 91. Floyd goes up to a 87. Jones goes down by one. Evans goes down by one again. Uh, we are approaching the end of the, of the career for Carson Evans the third. I think he'll retire after two more seasons, and, and then I think Strong follows that like a year or two later. So we have probably four to five years left of simming here. Okay, we also signed Dustin Willis and Nick Richards as well. Here is your coach game plan for this year. Your lineup is the same. Jay Jones, Evans, Strong, Bell, and Floyd. Uh, off the bench, Hachimura, Tommy Sullivan, Goodrich, McDaniels, and Cooper. Reserves, Miles Turner, Lawal, Willis, and Richards. 2035 is over, and Max Strong again wins MVP. 23 and a half points per game, 11 rebounds, three assists, one steal, and he shot well, just like always. We went 52 and 30, um, but here's your All-NBA first team, Radu Busca, Derek O'Neill, Max Strong, Martin Bell, of course, and Milos Tavkar. Defensive second team, Owen Wheeler, Wang, Martin Bell, Dustin Cox, Clifton Clayton. Those are your teams. Here are the playoffs. We are the four seed. Did not have the year that I thought we were going to have after our uh, whatever it is. Jay Jones. Aaron Floyd and Dillons are all on the trade block for us. Max Strong and Martin Bell are both untouchable. And Owen Wheeler is a target for us. Uh, we are 6-4 and four in our last 10. We were 8 games back from the one to the It's Portland. Out of all teams, really? They've been bad the entire time that we've been in this series. So as the fourth seed in our... Uh, our quest for the three-peat begins right here against the Lakers and Paul Hawkins. Before that, the all-star teams, Team Derek again and Team Owen again. Uh, Dunleavy, O'Neal, Wang, Hines, and Chavez are your Derek starters with Arnold, Benjamin, Kramer, Cook, Al Roberts, Trey Young, and Thomas May off the bench. For Team Owen, it's Busca, Wheeler, Rob White, Max Strong, 10-time MVP, and Tavkar in the reserves, Martin Bell, Desmond Glover, Soto, Pat Geiger, Dustin Cox, James Wiseman, and Rolando Russell. All right, so we did not make any transactions, I don't think. Uh, we, actually, I, I, wait, we traded Carson Evans? No! Why? I'm actually so upset. No, dude, no, come on. Are you serious? We traded Evans and Miles Turner for Dedrick Blair and Rudolph Best. Then we traded Tommy Sullivan as well. And a second round pick for Oturu and Aaron Bridges. Are you fucking kidding me right now? No. For this guy? He's worse. He is worse than Carson Evans. There's no way we just did that. No fucking way. No, dude, come on. I'm actually so upset. 
This is why we, this, 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 this is why we're the four seed. This is why. Fuck, who do we even trade him to? I forget. Why? He only had a couple of years of just letting him write it out. He's averaging 17 points per game. Three assists. Still shooting really well. Man. We really just did that. All right, player stats. We saw them for strong. We play in every game. We played in all, all but four. Martin Bell, 16 points per game and 11 rebounds per game. He played well. Magic Blair, I, I hate you and it's not your fault. Uh, Aaron Floyd, 15 points per game, 10 rebounds per game. He and Bell are like a really good scoring and re rebounding tandem in the paint. Jay Jones, 13 and 13, three and four. The rest don't really matter. League leaders. Nobody even above 26 and a half points per game for scoring. Strong was seventh. Team stats, we were the eighth best team by record. The fifth best team by scoring and the fifth best team on defense. All right, first round, here we go against Derek O'Neill and the Lakers. Do we get out of the first round this year? Will our three-peats run get past the first round? The answer is yes, it will. We win in seven games. We have to face the one-seed Trailblazers. Anybody hurt yet for us? Bridges broke his right hand. So did the trade really work, Chief? He was only a fucking 74 overall, too. I can't believe that. Who the hell is our GM right now? I don't know. All right, second round against Portland. Can we take take that, that down the one seed? We're up by three. We sweep and let's fucking go. We have to face Dallas. We have played before here in the Western Conference Finals. Do we make our third straight NBA Finals for the three P to continue? Yes, we do. We win six games. We have to face the Chicago Bulls. Who do they have? Oh, they have Owen Wheeler. That's why. Oh my God. Okay, I have to. I kind of want to jump in here and do, during some game because they have the new face of the fucking league, or who he will be the face of the league once Strong retires. But this guy is sick. He's already got a lot of awards, two All Stars, a fuck ton of badges. Really good stat line. Quite the matchup right here against two really good teams. They were the two seed over in the East. All right, game one, here we go. We come back in the fourth and win by nine points. Let's go. Game one victory. Game two here. The Bulls take over in the third quarter and it was too much for us to overcome. Tied at one games apiece. Back and forth here in the fourth. We, we, we won by two points. Let's go. Okay, we're up two to one now. Back and forth first half here. It continues in the, into the fourth quarter. And the Bulls hang on to win. They tie the series at two. Game five here, back and forth again. Really good series right here. And we hang on to win by one point. They almost came back in that fourth quarter, but we got it done. We are one game from winning our third straight and fifth overall NBA Finals. The, the three-peat could happen now. It didn't happen during our last attempt at a three-peat. As we know, thanks to the Spurs. Fourth quarter, going our way so far. We're still in front. I'm gonna jump in here at some point for sure. All right, 2.32 left. Let's watch the end of this game, see if we can hang on to get this three-peat going. 2.32 left, we lead by nine, 103 to 94. Again, we don't have Carson Evans because we traded him away this year. I hate that move so much. That shot is up, 
and in. Who was that? Was that Wheeler? That, no, that's Harrington. Okay. Six-point game now. I want to see Wheeler, though. We call timeout to bring in Floyd and somebody else, I think. Jones pulls up. That shot, no good. Floyd gets it back and scores. Nice play. Okay, so we're, we're not going to see Wheeler here because Wheeler actually fouled out. He has six fouls and 12 points in this game. That's blocked by Floyd, the big man. But this time, Morris scores down low on him. Back to six-point game. Strong with it. Time counting down for Vegas. Strong goes to Hachimura. Hachimura can't lay it in. Why is Martin Bell taking a seat in crunch time? Gilmore pulls up. That shot no good. Strong gets the board. Huge board right there. Six point game still. A minute ten left. Blair steps back. He goes to Strong. Now Hashimura. Jay Jones off the screen. Pulls up again. That shot front rims. Hashimura got it back. He goes out of a pass to Blair. Blair fires. That shot no good. Harrington fires. No good. Floyd got the board. And they have to foul. Jones knocks down two clutch free throws. Harrington inside. No good. Great defense by Blair. Strong. Steps back and shoots. That shot, no good. That would have been great to go in, but I knew that it was not going to go in because that was a bad shot. But Benjamin down low. Dunks and is fouled. Come on, man. That's a bad play by Floyd. We bring in the backups. Sorry, what? They're still f There's still 15 seconds left. Bring Strong back in. Are you serious? Blair knocks down the first. As the starters come back in, Blair knocks down both. Bulls call him out. Seven points behind. 14 seconds left. Strong comes in. Jay Jones dribbles it out. We get the three peat. We win by four. We win in six games against Chicago. Our fifth ever NBA championship. Again at home. I have to blame. Owen Wheeler for fouling out for their loss because they probably would have either tied the game or won it if he was still in there. But the three penis here, Silas gets his fifth ring as our coach. Evans should be getting a uh, cursory ring from us because he, he deserves it. If we win past this point, I still give him rings for all those wins that we might have. Strong, his fifth finals MVP, and his fifth finals win. Insane. We've done it again. We finally got our three peats. We got our fifth ring, Max Strong. 26 points per game, 10 rebounds on really good shooting numbers in six finals games in less than 30 minutes per game. And we get another finals victory here. In game one, he had 44 points. In game two, he had 33 and 15. In game three, he had 27. In game four, he had 19. In game five, he had 24 and 13. And in game six, he only had nine points, but that's okay because he got it uh, finals MVP. Let's go see how he's feeling about this on his player. I'm feeling he is at the maximum morale as he should be. Five finals MVPs. God, what a fucking player this guy is, man. Can't wait to look over all his awards once he retires gonna be bittersweet I must say but we got to keep going there's still a couple of years left before he's gone retirements Miles Turner De Devin Booker Tatum Ben Simmons Devin Shenzo 
and an Obi. Really, Rui Hachimura's done. Um, Nick Richards retired. Grant Reller's gone. Cash is Stanley Brook Washington. Matthew Booker. I don't see uh, Carson Evans anywhere, thank God. So he's still alive and running. Derek Carpenter's done after six pro years. He Did he play this season at all? He has not played since 2030. Yeah, that's about right. Tatum and Booker make the Hall of Fame. Booker has jer jer jerseys for Dallas and Phoenix retired. Played nine years with both teams. Tatum has a jersey in Portland retired, but not in Boston. He played nine years in Portland. And Ben Simmons has his... Well, th that's just unrealistic right there. Nope. We bring back Salas as our head coach, of course. Why not? No other staff changes here. Did we take anybody in this draft? Do we have a pick? Yes, we do. We, we took uh, Philip Jacobs, a uh, guy out of England. 60, 69 overall, 20 years old. Okay potential, though. In round two, we did not have a... Actually, no, we did have a second rounder. Clayton Law. 71 overall, 18 years old. He was very good, though. We will retain the rights to Jacobs. No options for us. Derek Anil declined his player option. We give offers to best Goodrich and Cooper, all qualifying. All right, here were all of our signings after we brought back Silas again on another four-year deal. Dedrick Blair signed a new deal with us. Dumboya, Bradley Goodrich, Markel Fultz, Philip Bradley, Alexander Quinn, Wendell Rhodes, Rudolph Best, Pedro Carlos. A lot of signings here. Player progression, Max Strong down to a 92. Or 91, depending on how it looks to you. Uh, Bell 91, Floyd still at a 87, 88. Jay Jones down by one. Here are the rest of them. They don't matter to me that much. All right, here's our coach game plan for this year. We got Jay Jones, Dedrick Blair, Max Strong, Martin Bell, and Floyd. Off the bench, Rudolph Best, Goodrich, Oturu, Dumboya, and Philip Bradley. Reserves, Daniels, Fultz, Quinn, and Craig Patrick. For scoring option, obviously Strong. Then we'll make it uh, Martin Bell, and then we'll do Jay Jones. Actually, no, that, let's do uh, Aaron Floyd at third. Okay, so Martin Bell wants to re-sign with us, so uh, I'll let the CPU handle that, and we'll check that up uh, right at the contract extension deadline, and go from there. Okay, so we did re-sign Martin Bell to a three-year, $146 million deal. Well, of course, we also made a dumb super trade again. We traded Jay Jones for Rasheed Williamson and Bam Adebayo. Now we have, like, no point guard. Our best point guard is a 74 overall. Great job, team. We're fucking idiots, man. We're ruining the end of Strong's career. He's a 30-year-old man, and we're ruining it. Unreal. We had a pretty uh, down year compared to uh, what we're used to. We went 44 and 38. Here's your All-NBA first team. Samango Andrews Strong still there. Martin Bell still there. Tav Carr. Third team, Sheldon Hunt, Tomasevich, Dick Wade, Arnold, Aaron Floyd this time made it. Here were the all-star teams. Team Milos Tafkar and Team Peya Jeremich. For Team Milos, it was Eddie Jennings, Semenko, Steele, Cox, and Tafkar. Off the bench, Wheeler, Shane Ramsey. First time he's been there, and he's very old. Soto, Lambros, Niniatis, and Aaron Floyd was there. Dick Wade and Ben Sloan. For Team Jeremich, you got Jeremich, Lloyd Morrison, Max Strong, 11-time All-Star, Dwight Sutton, Norm Hines, Reserves, Martin Bell, 5th time there, Thomas Savage, Earl Arnold, Charles Mason, Rudolph Marshall, Stanley, and Sheldon Hunt. Player stats for you, 22 points per game here for Strong, 11 rebounds, 3 assists, 1 steal, 
did not shoot as well as years previous, but still shot re really well overall. Um, he played in all 82 games. Good for him. He's 30 years old. He is uh, declining bit by bit each year. Martin Bell, big step up this year. 18 points per game, 11 rebounds per game, uh, almost five assists. He was really good. Aaron Floyd, 17 points per game, 10, 10 rebounds per game. Dedrick Blair, 13. Best, 13. Patrick, 11. I don't care about the rest. Team stats. We were not that good of a team this year. We were 10th in terms of record. Still top 10, which is pretty solid. Top third of the league. Points per game, we were middle of the pack at 15. Our defense, though, was pretty good. The second best in the entire, in the entire NBA. All right. Time to sim the first round. For the five seed this year, we play Golden State. We're the four seed. Round one. Up three games to one, and we win in seven games. We have to face Portland again. They are again the one seed. Can we take them out this year as well? Continue our winning ways here in the playoffs. Portland up 2 nothing. Now 3 nothing. We make it a comeback, possibly. They take us out in seven games. And our year is done in the Western Conference semifinals. Uh, playoff stats. Strong, average 20.5 and 11. Aaron Floyd, 18 and 8. Warren Bell, 16 and 9. But it is time to send the rest of these playoffs and see what happens here. Get the show on the road. We're almost done with the episode. Probably a year or two away before Strong is done. Most likely. And even then, our team is probably on, on, the, on the decline from here on out, I would assume. The Detroit Pistons have won the championship. Wow. What a surprise. Like, seriously, that, that is a shocker. Shelton Hunt, 13 points per game, 10 assists per game. He's your finals MVP. They won in six games against Portland. Player retirements. Darren Fox, Markel Fultz, B.I., Gary Trent, Aiton, Basley Sexton, Trey Jones, RJ Barrett, Bobol, Ken Reddish, Obi Toppin, McCarthy. A lot of players that we know. Britt Cage is done after 12 years in the NBA. He did not play this past season. Really hasn't played all that much since he left our team. I guess that's what you, once you leave Las Vegas, you die. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, I guess. That's my motto. Hall of Fame, DeAndre Aiden and B.I. both make it. Not really shocked by those. They each have a jersey retired. The first ever retirement jersey for the Claws, I think. We still don't have ours. We will sign a new CFO and head scout. The pick 23, we took Kurt Baxter, 74 overall shooting guard, 20 years old. Pretty good shooter, it looks like. Uh, decent potential. We also drafted Angelo Bianco out of Italy. 71 overall, 17 year olds. Pretty good potential though. We also drafted Philip J. Or no, we gonna. Okay, so we signed Baxter, Bianco, and we, we bring in Jacobs, who, who we drafted last year. So three rookies coming in. Actually, no, two, because Bianco got our team rights for one more year for him. All right, here are our, our moves. We signed Barry Tavares, Danell Ferguson, Scott Wright, Ben Adebayo, Santos, and Gabe Keefe. Player progression Martin Bell. Up to a 92 overall. Strong goes down by two. Still at 89 though. Floyd stays where he's at. The rest. Here you go. All right, your lineup looks like this. Barry Tavares, Dedrick Blair, Strong, Bell, and Floyd. Our guard play is going to be terrible this year. Then you got Rudolph Best, Goodrich, Jacobs, Adebayo, Scott Wright, Baxter, Ferguson, Dumboya, and Irvin Gordon. We're going to keep the same scoring options as they are. But we're probably going to start playing through Martin Bell now. I don't know if Strong is going to be considered a star. I think that, that goes by who your top 
uh, your top rated player is in terms of, of, of uh, overall. But we'll see though. He is getting older. So. Also, Strong does want to re-sign. Uh, he has... Uh, he still has one more year after this one left on his deal. This man loves basketball. I gotta say. And Floyd, undecided at this point in time. Okay, so at the contract extension deadline, we have not re-signed Strong. I'm gonna do it for us. Because I'm pretty sure... Actually, I mean, if he does retire, uh, it might fuck up with the team. Uh... For the for the year that he wants to uh, re-sign for, uh, he wants to add two more years to his deal, I think, or is that three? But anyways, I mean, he wants to re-sign. I'm gonna do it because I don't really care about what happens afterwards, and he'll fucking take it. Let's go. Uh, Floyd's still not sure, so we can't even offer one. So he's probably gonna hit the open market, I guess. So that means that Strong has four more years after this one. There's no way that he actually stays in the league for that long. There's no way. We'll see. Martin Bell, by the way, right now is out with an injury. He broke his left thigh. And Rudolph Best broke his right ankle. Okay, real quick, hold on. We are almost at the end of the year, but I wanted to show you guys this game right here. 129 to, to fucking 64 against the Jazz, who are 9 and 62. Like, nobody even played, like, out of their mind. They, they scored, le look at the box score, they scored less than 10 points in the third and fourth quarter. What the hell happened at Utah? For the second team. Strong and Floyd both make it. All rookie first team. Philip Jacobs made it. Good for him. We are the three seed this year. We had a much better year uh, this time than last time. 53 and 29. Here are the all star teams for the year Derek O'Neill, Hyatt Sabanko himself, Max Strong, John Steele, and Aaron Floyd on his team. So two starters for. Uh, for Las Vegas in the reserves, there's Arnold Jennings, Morrison, Wang, Stanley, Barbosa, and Wiseman. For Team Owen, they had a Wheeler, Soto, Bishop, Mason, and Tavkar. In the reserves, Jerry Mitch, Neal, Dick Wade, Ware, Rudolph Marshall, Niniatis, and Andrews. So I guess Martin Bell was out for too long to be considered. Uh, player stats for us. Strong, down to 19 points per game, still at, a. Uh, a nice double-double average this year. But his shooting has gone down tremendously, down to 43% on the season. His free throws are down. Team stats, third best record for us. Points per game were probably not. We were fifth in the league in points per game, which has gone down a lot overall for teams. Points allowed per game, we were the second best defensive team yet again. Now it's time for the playoffs. Round one here in 2037. We sweep Minnesota. We move on to the semifinals. And face the Rockets again. And we have the lead here. They tie it up. We take the lead back and we win in six games. Now another game. We wow, we have like a Portland like robbery now, man. Got to face them again. And this time in the Western Conference Finals. Do we, win, we win this time and punch another ticket to the NBA Finals. It's tied. They win game six. Game seven, they went, They beat us again in game seven. And our year is over. Finals, Blazers versus Cavaliers. Do they still have Darius Leones? If so, what is his overall? They still have him, but he's down to a 73. He's getting no playing time. He's 36. Don't tell me strong plays for that long. I don't want to see him get this low. That's crazy. Uh, playoff stats for us real quick. Not team stats, player stats. Strong was our best player, 18 and 12. Nice. All right, so the rest of the playoffs here. The Trailblazers sweep the Cavs for their second straight, I think. Semenko wins Finals MVP, 29 points per game. He was pretty solid. Player retirements. 
Jalen Brown retires as a champion. Uh, Bam out of bio is gone. Shea, Luka Doncic has retired. Robinson, Bagley, Trey Young, John Morant, Obamba, a lot of others, Lamella Ball. Stan Curry's done after 11 years. He's 34 years old. He has not played in the NBA for a couple of years. Hall of Fame, five people make it. Luka, John Morant, Trey Young, Shea Gildas Alexander, and of course, LaMelo Ball. And a lot of jerseys retired here. LaMelo had one retired. Lonzo had one retired. Luka had two retired for Dallas and Golden State. Um, wow, he actually finished his career in Dallas. That's, all, that's super nice. Um, Vujanic had his jersey retired. I guess he re he must have retired. Um, Jalen Brown has his Boston one retired. Trey Young has Atlanta and Houston jerseys retired. He played for a while in both those places. John Morant had his retired. There you go. All right, so I'm no longer going to go over our signings unless they pertain to Evans or Strong pretty much. I will go over player progression though. Martin Bell goes down by a one. Strong down by three to 87 overall. Floyd down by a one. Bianco up by 10. Jacobs up by three. The rest don't matter. All right, coach game plan for the seat year. Jacobs, Bianco, Strong. I'm gonna make sure that he needs to start the rest of his career. I don't care who else is gonna be on our team. Strong is gonna always start. Then there's Bell and Floyd. Backups don't really matter. Here we go. All right, Evans is a free agent at 34 years old. Well, we're going to bring him in for one last ride. Please take this. He took it. Yes, let's go. He'll finish his career as a member of the Venom after we did him so dirty. He's back. I don't care if he gets any playing time. I mean, he should, he should be playing over Armstrong, that's for sure. All right, we'll give Evans some playing time in place of Armstrong. The year is over and Martin Bell has won his second MVP for Las Vegas. 21 points per game, 13 rebounds per game. He was very, very good. Here are the rest of the awards right here. Chris Finch, coach of the year. We went 56 and 26 on the year. Martin Bell makes the All-NBA first team. Nobody for us on the second team. Or on the third team. All-defensive first team, nobody for us either. Nobody on the second team either for that. All-rookie first team, nobody for us. Bianco makes the second team. And those are your All-NBA teams for us at least. We are the one seed. We're back in the lead in the West. And uh, we were seven games ahead of the, the next best team. Let's go. Is Strong hurt? Don't tell me Strong is hurt. Sprain lefty did, did it a please come back. Uh, any moves? What moves did we make? We traded Stan. We traded Dedrick Blair. For Stanley Hines. We also re-signed Aaron Floyd to a massive contract. There we go. Here, here were the all-star teams. Martin Bell was a captain. Max Strong did not make it to the all-star game this time. Aaron Floyd did though. He was on, on at Martin Bell's reserves. Nice. Um, Max Strong, 15 points per game. 9, nine rebounds, 3 assists. The shooting continues to plummet each season as he becomes older and older. He played only 62 games this year. He's out for 20 of them. Team stats, best record in the league was us. Points per game, we were fifth. Wow, the numbers are just so different. The Knicks were by far the best team. Points allowed, we were the second best. So we're a pretty good team this year, as you can see. First round against the Nuggets, what happens? 
We are up three games to one. We get a gentleman sweep. Now, we have to face the Spurs, of course. Do they still have Rudolph Marshall? Yes, they do. He's down to 84 overall. A strong back. Yes, he is. Healthy team, here we go. Please beat them. We sweep the Spurs. You have to face the Rockets again in the Western Conference Finals. Uh, just a per perennial opponent that we have that, that we have to face. So we are back in the finals, baby. Let's go. You gotta face the Atlanta Hawks. I'm just gonna go game by game here. We win game one. Um, I gotta click play game and then send the game each time. Game two, we win. Let's just sim cast the rest. Game three. We come out on top. We're, we're about to sweep them. Come on. Do it. Give me one last championship. Fourth quarter, counting down here. Max Strong got hurt, apparently. Let's watch the celebration one last time. We're going to win our sixth ever NBA Finals. Evans and Strong are both in right now. Strong now has two ankle braces with uh, varying colors on them. But we're going to sweep the Hawks, led by our we were led by, led by Martin Bell. Strong was hurt this game, but you know our two favorite players are in the game right now. Game right now to watch us win. Evans and Strong get an another fucking ring. That's six for us. Let's watch the celebration again. Martin Bell is your finals MVP for the first time. Good for you, young sir. The new leader of the Venom, once strong, retires. Vegas is a champion once more. Martin Bell. 25 points per game, 17 and a half rebounds in the finals. Are you shitting me? Holy fuck. You know, we add a sixth trophy to our trophy case. I think Evans might have retired right here, guys. Let's go find out. KPJ retires, as do a couple of other players that we know. Zion's done. And is Evan still here? I think he's still here, everybody. Is he still on our team? Yes, he is. He hasn't retired. Neither has Strong. There's still time. Alex Bush retired, really. As did Zion, they both enter your Hall of Fame. Zion and Edwards, Pat Rogers and Alex Bush all have retired jerseys now. Zion had two for the Pelicans and the Jazz. All right, player progression. All I care about is Strong right now. Strong goes down by three to a 83, I think is what this is saying. Probably has one or two years left. Gonna re-sign Evans for one more year, and hopefully he will retire after this year so we can finish this episode because it's fucking long. I've been recording for fucking ages now. All I care about now is strong and Evans retiring. I don't care about anything else. I'm not gonna cover 
anything else. Um, I will just, I mean, I'll briefly show you the end of each year, like our, our, our record and how we do in the playoffs and the stats of strong and items. But other than that, I don't care at all. So let's wrap this up. Okay, so we were 51 and 31. We are the three seeded here in the playoffs. All right, player stats for strong. He tore his ACL. Are you serious? When? April 15th. God damn it, dude. Come on. He was averaging 12 points per game, nine rebounds per game. Shooting just so bad now. How does it get so bad that quick? They only played 26 games, apparently. They must have gotten hurt before this as well. Damn. Carson Evans, five points per game. He shot well. He played 10 minutes per game. And he played in 46 of them. All right, playoffs, let's just sim through this entire thing. I don't care about what happens at the finals now. I doubt we win it though, but we'll see what happens. And we lose in the semifinals to the Dallas Mavericks in five games. And the finals matchup will be between the Claws and the Mavericks. The Mavericks win in six games behind Dick Wade. Player retirements, Lonzo Ball is there, Stewart, Jalen Smith, Killian Hayes, Patrick Williams, Shane Ramsey, Mitchell Kent. Jay Jones retires. Are Strong and Evans still here? Are you serious? Really? Hall of Fame, Killian Hayes and Darius Leones. So, so Leones must have retired, he played exactly a thousand games 22 points per game, three rebounds, just below four assists. He was really good. And they both get their jerseys retired. They only played his entire career with Cleveland. All right, player progression. Strong goes down by five to a 78. So is the ACL tear. He's lost all his badges pretty much. So Evans signed to the Pistons. I cannot do anything about it. So I think he'll retire as a member of the, the Pistons after this year. Meanwhile, apparently Strong wants to resign. I mean, I'll do it just to make sure. But like, dude, there's no way that you are gonna be in the league that long. You have to retire. You're still hurt. Another year here in the books. Martin Bell, third MVP for him. All NBA first team for him. For the one seed here in the West by 11 games. Cool. Strong, 10 points per game, nine rebounds per game. Shooting was better this year than last year, and he played in. He played in. 37 games only. I think he was still coming off that ACL injury. For the Pistons, Carson Evans had five points per game. Shots very poorly. He played in only 12 games this year. Winning seven games against the Nuggets in the semifinals. And in the Western Conference Finals, we advance to the finals to face the Claws again. I'm not gonna jump in this time. Because the Claws beat us in five games to win their third ever finals, I think. Player retirement, James Wiseman, Darius Scarlett, Stacey Cole, Chavez. Anybody for us? Seems like, wait, Palmer already retired? Really? Seems like Strong and Evans are still in the league. We have one more <laughs> season to go. This is ridiculous. They aren't here. All right, we're gonna try and sign 37-year-old Carson Evans to finally retire, please. He takes the offer. 
We had another good year at 54 and 28. Philip Jacobs won an award. Cool. In the playoffs as the two seed in the West. One game behind. Uh, we have a lot of guys on the trading block right now. Um, okay. Let's go see. Player stats. Strong. Barely played six minutes, or, or six points per game, five rebounds, four shooting. He played in 37 games. Evans did not play at all, but I just glad to have him on the team. I think they both retire right here. Let's go send the playoffs, see what happens. We beat LA in seven games. Gotta face Portland again. They're, they're, they're the eight to be sweep them. In the finals now against Toronto. We're winning the series. 3-2. We win again. Let's go. Is that ring seven? I think it's ring seven. Right there. We get one. One last ring for Strong and Carson Evans. Martin Bell. Finals MVP. He's wow, he's also regressed. He's age 32 already. What the hell? Gone through an entire player's career. Player retirements, here we go. Rudolph Marshall retires. Darius Leones retires. Carson Evans has retired. Before we cannot see it again, here are his awards. He is a six time NBA champion. All of them with us. Um, I think we, I, does he get, I think it's seven because he wasn't there for the year, but like, I think he was because he was traded. It doesn't really count, I think. But I'm gonna count it, if that's what it is. So we'll call it seven time NBA champions for Carson Evans the third. No all-star games for him, no all-star games. But second team all rookie. Uh, we can see what he averaged in his career later on. Wilson retires, same draft class as Max Strong, Floyd Cook. Barry Frazier, Stanley Hines, Pat Geiger, Scott Wright. And Strong has not retired. Hall of Fame, Darius Leones makes it, but not Carson Evans, really. You're serious. Okay, well here's your career average. Career averages for Carson Evans the third. He played for 17 seasons, 17 points per game. Two rebounds, three and a half assists, shot just below 50% uh, from the field, 45, 44% from three in his career. That's fucking absurd. 76% at the free throw line, 26 minutes per game. And uh, he spent almost all of his career, aside from like two full, three full seasons spent the rest of his, he spent about 14 years in, in Las Vegas. And it's time to say goodbye to him. He has retired. It's the last time we're going to see his face is right here. 37 years old. I salute you. And I appreciate you. And it, he is going to be our first ever Jersey retirement. And honestly, he deserves it. He deserved it so much. He was uh, pretty much the first player we drafted that I really gave an uh, it, extension to. Honestly, I'm pretty sure he's the first one that I ever gave an actual contract extension to, not involving uh, not involving like a team option. And uh, he was drafted. A, he was drafted a year before Strong, and he retired first, so he gets the first retired jersey. Rudolph Marshall and Barry Frazier have theirs retired, but, uh, wow, Evans has his retired. No one will ever wear number seven again for Las Vegas. There's no way this man is going to re-sign again. Apparently he will. I'll give him an offer just so he's here, but there's no way. That adds another year. Two more years after this one. Are you serious? No way. You're 36. You're 36. 
Just retire, please. All right, now, now I'm gonna check strong stats because he probably did not play a fucking single second of this season, so I'm just gonna sim the playoffs here, see what happens. And then hopefully he retires. If not, I'll have to do it all over again. Another fucking season. Because this dude loves basketball way too much. We win in the first round in five games against Utah again. And semifinals. We lose in seven games to Dallas. Okay. Rest of the playoffs being simmed out. Don't tell me the Kings are going to win, man. Toronto, please. Never mind. The Kings win, of course. Player retirements. Max Strong has retired. He's down to a 72 overall, 37 years old, 16 years in the NBA. What a career. Here are his career stats. He averaged 23.7 points per game, 8.1 rebounds, 3.8 assists, 1 steal. Um, he shot just below 50%. He shot 42% from beyond the arc, 94% from 3. 30 minutes per game, plus minus of 8.2. 28,000 career points, 9.7 thousand career rebounds, 4.5k assists. 1.2 thousand steals, 230 blocks. What a career this man has had. He played in almost 1,200 games, 417 double doubles. What a career. Possibly the greatest player of all time, maybe. The game has treated me well, but it's time for me to make my family the top priority in my life. Good for you, man. Good for you. He decides to exit the NBA after one of the best careers of all time. Massive resume here. Five MVPs in 2028, 2030, 2031, 2034, and 2035. A seven-time NBA champion in 2027, 2028, 2033, 2034, 2035, 2038, and 2041. A 12 time All-Star uh, in 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. 12 straight seasons as an All-Star. First team All-NBA eight times. Um, 89, 29, 30, 31, 33, 34, 35, and 36. So in eight of nine seasons. Second team all NBA four times in 26 and 27, 2032 20, and 2037. 20, Second team all defense in 2032. Rookie of the year in 2025. And first team all rookie in 2025. What a year. We know that he's a Hall of Famer. And we're about to see him get inducted right now. He is your lone Hall of Fame inductee for the year 2042. Again, here are his career stats. Just, what a great career, man. What a great career. It's finally over. I've been recording this video for over four hours. There he goes. He's gone. Of course, number 16 is going to etch his name into the history books. He spent his entire career here in Las Vegas. And now it's over. Alright, before we end here, just going to look at this. A couple, a, a couple of things team-wise for records and stuff like that. Retired, you just... Retired jerseys, Evans and Strong, obviously, both gave their heart and soul to our team. Number seven and number 16, two of the greatest players of all time, the, uh, at least team history, Max Strong, uh, at least top three all time in the NBA in history, in this franchise. Carson Evans, 
I hope he makes the Hall of Fame one day. We're probably we're not gonna see it happen here, but um, I think he might just be a little, 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 little ways off of making it. Here is your team history: um, seven NBA titles, nine conference championships, eighteen playoff appearances. Um, and uh, the series comes to an end here in 2042. It's not showing, showing our, our rivals for some reason, but I, I think of the Rockets, I think of the Kings, I think of the Spurs, um, I think of the Claws. Those are the main ones that I can think of right now. For total points in a career, Max Strong is 28th all time with 28,303 points right behind Carl Anthony Towns pretty much his regression and the length that he spent in the league is pretty much why like his regression over that time and uh yep he finishes above Kyrie for most points in a career I don't know if I can find Carson Evans down here probably not I did find him. He was 90th on this list at 20,671, right behind George Gervin and above LaMarcus Aldridge. So both of us, both of our guys get top 90 and total points in a career. Strong, 32nd in total career field goals made at 10,123. Evans comes in at 34th in NBA history in three-pointers made over a career, 3,210. Max Strong is 13th on this list, right above Wang, and right below Rudolph Marshall uh, at 4,277. All right, the final thing here, Matt Moore. I saw Max Strong play more times than I can count true legend and deserving of his number 16 getting retired tonight and that is a true statement and with this image right here I bid you all a farewell thank you for watching this series so much and uh, I really do appreciate it please drop a like subscribe this was the last episode of the series um, a movie will come out that summarizes the entire series, including uh, what a much more summarized fashion. The entire series, including uh, this episode as well. But it's going to be a shaved down so much more than that than this one episode is. Um, but it'll be a pretty a pretty long movie overall to summarize the entire series. Um, to summarize like 20 seasons worth of stuff, but mostly 10 seasons because that's how much we really followed. Um, but that being said, this was the final episode of the series. Um, I think like a week or two after 2K22 comes out is when the first episode of the new series will come out. I have no idea what team I will do, but I do know that I'm going to do it in the Eastern Conference for 2K22. Um, don't know what expansion team I will use. I'll obviously choose one like I did choose the Venom. And I'll add one in the West as well. Um, I'm also going to be doing a Madden series um, after the new scouting update comes out uh, in mid to late September. So that will happen as well. But uh, until the movie goes up or until those series start, I'm not sure which will come first. Because the movie is going to take a, a, a little bit of time to get done. Because it's a lot of... Uh, cutting and pasting and splitting and stuff and the edit software but uh all that being said this series is now over thank you guys so much for watching for those of you who watched the entire thing i don't know if there's any of you that actually have but if you have thank you i do appreciate it. any views that i get for this video or the others in the series are i really do appreciate all of that and uh, hopefully you guys uh, stay tuned for the future of this channel. That being said, take care. And I'll see you guys in the next one.